guys, today I have some autumn winter outfit ideas. Styling up my favourite pieces from Anne Costi. This brand is stunning and I'm so excited to share them with you and they're kindly sponsoring today's video. So I'll let you know a little bit more about the brand but I just want to dig straight in with the clothes because I'm obsessed. I'm in my Coast Girl era, I'm loving all these pieces so let's style them up together. First of all, I am going to style up this turtle neck chunky knit vest you can see the pattern if i come up a little bit closer in cream now i have the size medium it is 100 percent wool all these items are stunning quality the brand is very into their sustainability and using eco-friendly materials where they can so they're really well made but i will leave all the items and all my sizes and my measurements in the description box below. And I really like how versatile a sleeveless knit is, especially in the transitional period. I'm gonna style this with my favorite piece in this haul. Oh my God, I am obsessed. I am loving brown tones for like, autumn winter. And this is amazing. It's a faux leather trench. It's got this crinkle effect as well, so you don't have to worry about creasing. When I wear faux leather trenches, I wore like a burgundy one the other day and I was driving and I got up and behind me it was all creased behind so because this fabric has a slight sort of vintage crinkle effect to it you don't have to worry about that I'm just obsessed with the fit I have a size medium again that's quite oversized and loose it's really comfortable it's not heavy and it is just giving it is giving super expensive vibe I think this is 260 pound but it really looks like a thousand pound designer piece and like I said again stunning quality it doesn't have a smell to it either like some fair leather pieces can and I am literally obsessed for height reference I'm about five foot nine but I've styled those two pieces together with an all cream outfit I think if you keep your base tonal it lengthens and slims the figure and I just love cream and brown tones together and I have jumped on the up train I recently bought up Taz, up Tasman I have a couple of pair of up ultra mini boots I'm just all about the comfort vibes this season and um, so I love this look that's my first outfit and yeah this is my favourite piece but I still have so many more amazing bits from Anne Costi to share with you. Let's stick with knitwear for a little while and I have another amazing piece I mean look at these sleeves we've got beautiful rib detailing and then a slight flared cuff but they're really long I love long arms on knitwear so cosy again we've got this really nice roll neck a slight crop so it's really flattering and styling with all your high-waisted trousers and jeans or for wearing over a dress if you wanted to play with some layering. This is a turtleneck foxy knit and it is a mix of wool, recycled polyester and alpaca and again grey is just a colour I love. I feel like it's obviously sits in the neutral palette, you can bring it out season upon season and of course grey is having a moment right now. If you're loving the pop of red trend, grey works really well with pops of red which I've tried to incorporate in this second outfit. I've paired with some black wide leg jeans and then there's a pop of that colour with some burgundy belly flats. Now, if you're not massively keen on bright reds, which I feel a little bit scared of, then a burgundy is a great autumnal colour. It's maybe a little less trend, but it also sits within that pop of red. To add an extra layer, you could pop over this mock two-piece coat. Now, if you can see, inside we have a waistcoat which is attached and I think this is amazing it's so stunning again such amazing quality it's 50% wool 50% polyester it's like a slightly oversized straight long coat very classic very minimal has a little bit of a masculine twist to it but I love this it's so unique obviously you could just wear it as a usual jacket and keep both the waistcoat and the coat open or you can fasten them both you can have a play around it plays on those layers it adds interest to a basic outfit and I think it looks really nice with the turtleneck underneath for the daytime or even an office outfit and then to transition this to the evening I would take off the jumper and then I would swap out my shoes for a pair of heels and then you're good to go. I think there's something really sexy about tailoring on an evening as well so you could even roll up the sleeves and keep it on together and I would maybe play around with accessories a little bit like some chunky gold necklaces just to draw attention of the eyeline to this beautiful V detailing that we have from the waistcoat underneath the coat and enhance that and yeah as you can tell I'm absolutely obsessed and again this is stunning quality if you can see in the material it has a slight glitter 
effect to it. Hopefully the lighting's okay. This weather right now is not giving. It is raining, it is grey, so I've done my best with the lights, but I absolutely love this as well, and I think it's so versatile from work to the weekend. As you can see so far, Ancosti create beautiful everyday wear that is practical, stylish, and comfortable, and has a natural element weaved in. Like I said, they are big on their sustainability, and as you can see from the composition of the items so far, they make conscious choices with 100% cotton, using organic cotton, using recycled polyester, using other fibres that they can sustainably source, which is another reason why I love this brand, but everything is so beautiful. Even the packaging that comes is eco-friendly, but I'm just really blown away by the price point and the quality of all these items. Now moving on to another evening wear piece, as we touched on how you can style that jacket for the evening. If you like yourself a party dress and you maybe want something with a little bit of a twist, but again, that you could wear in the day, like I would dress this for the day with a pair of flat knee boots and some tights. But if you also love like the old mini trend, this is perfect. Now I've been loving my bootleg jackets and this to me is like a dress form of the stunning bootleg jackets you'll see going around. If you watch my What's New My Wardrobe for Autumn video, you will see I have a grey jacket. So when I saw this, I thought that dress version of that jacket is a bit of me, although maybe it's a little bit too, too girly for my usual style, but I thought it would be perfect for this festive season. Again, there is a slight um, metallic thread going through this tweed, if you can see, and then we have pearl buttons in the silver shade with some sort of diamantes and pearls in. If you can see that hopefully on the camera. And I have this dress in size large, so I would just go and check out the sizing on the website because they have measurements for every single product and the size guide so you know which is the best size for you. And again, for reference, I'm about five foot nine in height, but I'm gonna be styling this with a pair of tights and a pair of knee boots for the evening because I don't like being too glam, so I feel like wearing a slouchier knee boot dresses it down more than a party heel. And as it is festive season, I might have a little bit of a play with a bow in my hair and that also kind of falls into the old money category as well. For me, it's the perfect mix of vintage but meets modern because of the embellishments and the fabric. So yeah, I just thought I'd add that one in for a little bit of fun. Now going back to some more cosy old channel on knitwear, this is giving me all of the toffee nut latte vibes. I'm definitely not an eggnog latte gal. Cannot jump on board with that. But I love this colour. It's a little bit different for me. I don't normally go for warmer tones. I think maybe because I've got like a cool blonde shade, I tend to go for cooler tones. But I actually have a warm skin tone. I know I look pale as anything. I'm probably blown out under these lights, but I thought it'd be nice to add some rich tones into my autumnal wardrobe. Now, this reminds me of the leaf emoji as well, but it's this beautiful cropped knit. Again, we have these amazing cozy collars that you can wear all the way up, or you can roll them down. We have a long sleeve, which I love. Again, I hate it when knitwear on me comes up too short on the arms because it just is not flattering. And then we have a slight slit detail here and then a cable knit down the middle of jumper and it's a mix of wool, polyamide and cotton so not itchy, really nice to wear, soft and snuggly. Because of the high-waisted nature of this jumper I've gone for a high-waisted pair of black jeans and then I've pulled in that warmer brown tone with a thin brown belt. Now this of course lends itself perfectly to pairing with my favourite piece in this video, oh, this stunning trench. If you're going to get one piece I would say this, it's a showstopper. It's a beautiful rich colour that I feel would suit both cool and warm tones. You're going to be able to mix it and match it with lots of things in your wardrobe. It's like finding, so hard to find, like the right colour trench coat that you can pair warm, cool, lots of different colours. And I think this is it. And it's just, uh, it's just a little bit different than a black version of a trench coat, which you see a lot. So yeah. I won't go on about this anymore to you, but I thought it looked really nice with this outfit as well. Very autumnal. I mean, you could always put another jumper over your shoulder if you wanted some extra layers and extra warmth, or just pop on some thermals underneath. Like for me, I love a thermal underlayer when it gets colder. And if I was wearing a cropped uh, jumper like this one, I would obviously get my thermal top, but then I would just double it over and roll it back up so you wouldn't be able to tell. But you'd have that extra layer underneath, keeping you nice and toasty. Another easy day to night piece to have in your arsenal is 
the top that's perfect for jeans and a nice top. And I love this lightweight knit with a cut out detail here in this beautiful brown tone. It's £70, it's a mix of cotton and polyester. I will mention it is a little bit more on the sheer side. So in the cutaways, I have actually styled it with some nipple covers. <laughs> I picked some up from Amazon and I've just been wearing them loads because I tend to wear bras without padding in and you know what happens when it's cold. So I pop them over and I think it's just really flattering. So I didn't wear a bra with this as well because I wanted the pop out to shine, but you could probably get away with like a very nude v-neck bra underneath, maybe pull it a little bit lower. Um, but I just, I just love this. I think it's so nice. Again, we've got a nice bit of stretch in it. It's all comfortable, amazing quality materials, beautiful designs. If you're not a neutral gal like me and you love your colors, they do the same amazing pop of blue and of course it's not just browns that you can get in greys on the website there are other colours available but I have styled this up with a long maxi slip skirt I thought I'd switch it up because of course like I mentioned it would be great with jeans and a nice top but we've seen quite a few jeans outfits so I'd mix it up with a long skirt and again take it from day to night you could pair this with trainers for the day and then in the evening swap it to a pair of heels and I've actually decided to go with a pair of ballet pumps here because I thought it'd be perfect if you're maybe going into town in the day for drinks that turn into the evening or from the desk to the dinner I have uh, popped it with some ballet flats and then I've chucked over a flat blazer over the top just to switch things up or again it would equally look amazing with that brown trench coat top. Which of those autumn winter outfits has been your favourite? Now, I cannot recommend the quality of these items enough. I love that the brand has a sustainable slant. I love that Ankoski pieces are a little bit different, but they are basic everyday pieces that scream comfort, chic, cool and cosy. So I hope you like the way that I've styled them up and my favourite picks, but I'll leave the website linked in the description box if you want to go and check them out with all the items I featured and my sizing. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll hopefully see you again soon for another one. Thanks for watching. Bye.